All right, and this is a reassembly of the HK416 uh, tr trigger assembly, and um, uh, you should have all these parts. Um, let's see, you should have the trigger, the hammer, the re same thing that releases the hammer. Uh, let's see what else. Um, pretty much all the parts: the safety, the hammer, the spring, washer other parts all right so we're gonna start reassembling it by the trigger and first off there's already a spring at the bottom if you can see that uh, this one on mine it doesn't go anywhere I don't know about yours but the spring in the bottom and then you're actually gonna have it uh, the left side facing up the right side facing down you're gonna put the disconnect in there and then you're gonna put the spring which is this one, you can see it, it's pretty tiny and it just slides in right in and then you're gonna put in the little rod, whatever you want to call it and slide it in so you should end up with the uh, spring uh, the disconnect and uh, the pin that goes through so then we're going to move on to the, the this mechanism that releases the hammer. Alright, and inside right there, you see a slot? A spring like this should be inside already, if we, if we didn't mess with it. So it should be like that. A spring inside. It was not going to go anywhere. So Alright, so turn it over. And just put it in there, just like so. And you're gonna get your pin with your short end and then the indention and long end. So you're gonna hold the long end first and you're gonna once again have it uh, left side up, right side down, and you're just gonna slide in the short end first. So let it just fall in if you want. And there you have it. The the trigger. Alright. Now you're going to put that uh, on the bottom and then you're going to work on the other pieces. Alright, so you got the hammer with the rod and then this um, washer. doesn't matter which way you uh, put it, but from the factory it actually comes uh, vice versa. But mine is actually the other way because I decided to put it that way. And then you got the spring and then last the washer that actually holds it. It's actually a cup in there so the spring could actually be seated in there so if you actually put it the other way the spring is actually going to be on top bouncing everywhere so make sure you put it in inside the cup and it just goes onto this pin that actually goes onto the left side of the trigger assembly flat end first. You could actually tell the difference because uh, oops because this one's actually a little flatter than the top one, it's more rounder. So make sure you put the flat end onto the left side, the side you're working on, and just put the hammer in that hole right there. And there you go. All right, next we're gonna do the trigger, the trigger. I mean, not trigger, the safety. Um, this is your safety right here, and it has a one slot and the spring with a, a mini, I guess, a rod and a rounded uh, aluminum piece actually goes um, in there. So you're going to put the spring in first and it actually sits down like that. So spring in first and the, the rounded piece on top. So then you're going to actually put that in there. If you follow, If you follow my way, and you actually uh, put it on fire and took off the 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 safety fire switch off then you would actually just put the pin I mean have it have the pin on the bottom slot so it actually be the opening be looking at the bottom like this not not like this it would be looking at the bottom all right so then uh, back to um, our trigger. So you're actually gonna move this trigger 
up here and uh, as I said before about that uh, pin that has an engraving it's actually gonna the, the let's say that this is the other side of it uh, that pin that's right here sticking out it actually has to go in that hole right there let's just say you're you're actually looking at it from the other view alright so then you're just gonna uh, grab grab the trigger by the bottom and move it forward and push down the pin at the same time until you hear it click so you heard it click right and then at that time the the pin is should be in seated and the spring should be pushing it up so your trigger is actually more slanted forward just like that more slanted forward um, don't worry about the bolt stopper until later because um, if you do it now it's going to be a problem like it's just more of a hassle so just leave that aside but I won't leave it up uh, don't also forget to put in your nut that actually uh, seats in your uh, pistol grip from the from the screw inside the pistol grip. So that that actually goes in there. All right. And uh, the last piece to put in, I mean one of the uh, pieces to put in, um, is this spring that actually uh, um, moves the. Uh, the mechanism that releases the hammer back forward to its readjusted position so just leave it uh, kinda like at an angle first oops I lost it uh. alright so um, so once you get all this um, the pin inside the the frame and the what's it called um, the safety the trigger and what whatnot. You're actually gonna work with the this cup uh, washer uh, right here, and you're gonna compress this spring from the hammer. So you're just gonna uh, put your two fingers down there like that, or nails, whichever whichever you wanna call it, and you're just gonna compress it first and drop it down where it's seated. So you can see right there. Now it's seated. Make sure you hold this so it doesn't go flying off, and you have to go find it because I've had to go find mine. And this is how it's seated, just like that. All right, just keep your finger on that. Uh, whichever you want, you, whichever way you want to do it, or use tape. I don't, well, whichever way is best for you. You do need two hands to do the, to do this. So um, back to the to the trigger you're actually gonna work on the mechanism that releases the hammer and put that one in so you're gonna put this spring in forward and then down into the socket so it should look like that Go ahead. so this is the spring see it there and there's another spring down here and you make sure you hold this in place like put this whole piece in place all right right now since you have everything in place already uh, don't worry about this piece that actually holds the two pieces together you can actually put that in last all right so now you're gonna get your the other um, outside of uh, the, the right covering of it and you're gonna place it in from the front these two screws and then work your way back so you're actually gonna put this in oh man I messed up. Like I said, this is a very hard process, so it might take more than uh, once to do this. I'll probably cut this uh, part out, or you guys could just fast forward it. But just reseed everything together. Put the spring back in there.
I think it's best just to have um, your fingers placed uh, right here on the bottom just like that and then once you put this back you have the top one front close forward and then once you get to this point sometimes the pin on the 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 top of the right side is hard so just wiggle the trigger front and back until you get it locked so then then you know when you get it locked is when it's sealed and then um, make sure the this rod that's from the hammer is in there otherwise you won't be able to fire it and then the nut that it goes for the pistol grip is there in two and uh, just hold it firmly make sure it's closed all the way and just to try it um, pull back the hammer uh, put your finger on the hammer and put your finger on the trigger and just let the hammer go slowly so now you know it works right alright so then you're gonna put in the nut in the back hold it down the screw, screw forward tight that one in you don't have to thumb tight it but and then you're actually gonna put another screw across it I mean nut my bad and then the screw on top and then like so just tight it not too tight because you're not done and then put the nut on the other, other side you know just to keep this in place or keep the whole thing in place actually alright so then remember the bolt uh, stopper um, since you don't have one screw on top it would be easier actually just to put it in and just get your screw and your nut in place like so and then one of the last pieces is the uh, is this pin that actually runs through the the right and the left um, the housing of the trigger so just place it in there just like that see goes in the hole and it runs all the way through and it actually just uh, stabilizes the whole thing and that's how you uh, reassemble it and after that um, like I said just go to your whatever